Okay guys, hope you're well this fine day, 1st of October. Where has this month gone? Just seems to be shooting away, or where's this year gone even? I'm knackered actually, I was up really late last night. I didn't get to bed till about half past two, three in the morning. Um, just couldn't sleep. Uh, so I did a little video about how you do 12 pips. Check it out, because it might open your eyes a little bit. Anyway, what else might open your eyes this morning? Well, we're going to look at the economic news. And from there, we're going to look at the strengths to see if we can pick out some form of a watch list for you today. So, economic news, 1st of October. Uh, there's quite a lot of low level news. There was a little bit of a shake up with JPY last night. Um, came in and it tanked. And it's forced the markets up. So, pound JPY, you'll have seen, has rallied quite well. Now, from a technical point of view, you could see it was coming anyway because of the colossal drop on Friday. But let's get rid of this low level stuff and see what's left because I want to try and make these videos quite quick and punchy. So as you can see through the night, that was kind of what was helping spark the movement on top of the technical data that was already there. Now, as we come into this morning, there's a lot on Euro. Now, if you're a Euro dollar trader, um, you might see some reasonable movement throughout the morning because it's one after the other. Bang, 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 all the way up to 10 o'clock. Now, 10 o'clock, there's an inflation rate and that might surge the market. I can't see it changing the market too much in direction, but I definitely think there'll be a surge on it. So. Just make certain your stops are in place and you'll be fine. We also have an S&P Global PMI. Now, that'll hit us at 9.30. And on the pound, if you're trading cable or the FTSE, be very wary around that time. Okay. Now, as we coming through the morning after the Euro news, we then go slamming over into quite a lot of of US news and it's one after the other. It's going to be like ripples in the pond. Boom, 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 boom. Over and over and over. The PMI is something to be careful of at quarter to three and then it hits us again at three o'clock. So between two and three is going to be pretty volatile. And then once that finishes at three o'clock, there'll be a little bit of a spike. Markets will settle down but then we still got the ripples in the pond pushing it forward. So be very careful if you're trading any of the US indices or euro dollar and pound dollar. Okay. Now from here, if I'm looking at my strengths, we can see the Aussie has been steadily working its way up as has the pound. The pound is now pushing onto the top as well. And the JPY, which has been really strong of late, has collapsed. Not only has it dropped to the floor, it's dropped six points from the last data sample. It is the worst performer. And it's also lost 44 in strength. Now this is quite colossal. Now it actually creates a good opportunity because it means if you start looking at your indicators, they will be incredibly stretched which might give you a good opportunity for bounces if that uh, currency is in a pair. Now, what else can we see? Well, we see the US is now starting to move up the ranks. It was very weak. It pushed up four. That is quite a bit for the US because it has been on the floor so long. And as you can see, it's had a change of strength of 14. So when I'm, you're looking to see what's going on, these are the things you want to see. You want to see if they're far apart, and you find all this on Finviz if you can't do this yourself. You want to see that they're far apart, and then you want to see what the change is from the last data sample. And it'll give you an idea whether it's growing up, down, sideways, whatever. Now, when you look at the majors, there's nothing really jumping out. Now, the pound JPY, still checking it to see if it's on the hour, slowing down. So again, the indicators are probably stretched. Now, pick of the bunch. Uh, the top one is the Aussie JPY and Pound JPY. 
Uh, they're the two products to look at. For the London session, it'll be pound JPY. There's decent movement within it. And if you're looking across the entire day, the Aussie JPY probably holds strong as well. So there you go, guys. Hope that helps. And as always, do what you love and the money will follow. See you all in the next one.